So the divine liturgy is a journey, is an adventure. And how many of you enjoy a good adventure story or an adventure movie? In every good adventure, though, there's usually a bad guy, isn't there? Right? Sometimes it's a monster. Sometimes it's a bunch of monsters. Sometimes it's even a dragon. And usually in these stories, what is the bad guy or the monster trying to do? It really loud. Trying to hurt you. Right? And if you're on a if if you're on an adventure on a journey, the monster, the dragon, will try to prevent you from getting to your destination. We said that the liturgy is a journey. A journey to the kingdom of God. And just as in all those adventure stories, there's a bad guy, or even monsters that are trying to prevent us from getting to the kingdom. Who is the dragon that's trying to prevent us from getting to the kingdom of God? The devil, Satan, he's trying to prevent us from getting to the kingdom. But guess what? Every good adventure story, in fact, I can't think of a good adventure story where the person goes on the journey by themselves. They don't go alone. And in our journey in the divine liturgy, even though there's enemies, even though there's evil ones that are trying to prevent us from getting to the kingdom of God, and that may look like a distraction, right? Have any of you guys, maybe especially parents, noticed on a Sunday morning when you're trying to get to church, it's a lot more difficult to get things moving? I'm sure you're much better than I am, but I've noticed that Things that I don't notice through the week will get under my skin and irritate me on a Sunday morning. And I I know this definitely isn't true that none of you get distracted when you're in church. But all of these things are attacks from the enemy, trying to prevent us from getting to the kingdom of God. Both that experience of it we have in the liturgy as well as eternity. Today is the apodosis, the leave-taking of all saints. And it so beautifully coincides with the feast of St. Nicholas Cavasilas, who I so dearly love. And we're reminded on this day that in this journey of life and in this journey here in the Divine Liturgy, we're not alone. We have the angels above protecting us, Just imagine how amazing that is. In our spiritual life, we have our own air force. Right? Every time one of those thoughts come to disturb us or upset us or distract us in the liturgy, we can call on Archangel Michael and he'll come with his flaming sword and he'll chase that evil thought away. Now again, once in a while maybe you might get a little bored in church. And then you can remember the saints like Saint and Holy Prophet Elias who rode into the heavens in a chariot of fire. Ask him to take you on a trip around the inside of the church in his chariot. Right? One of the most important things for us to remember and for parents to teach your children is that in this journey of life and in this journey of the divine liturgy, we're not alone. We're surrounded by 
a host of men and women and children, monks and nuns, priests and bishops, lay people, sinners and saints that have all entered into the presence of God and have the ability and the desire to assist us. All we have to do, as we heard in the Gospel reading, is ask. Ask Panayia. Ask the saints to help us better get to know and to ultimately arrive at the goal of our journey, which is not only the kingdom of God, but the King Himself. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, our King, through the prayers of all the saints, and especially my favorite, Nicholas Cavasilas, be with you all.